Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, continuing with our AWS CLI series, uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually use AWS CLI to interact with AWS services. And in this video, I'll be covering EC2. Like I told you, I'll be covering few services, EC2, S3, IAM, like few services. So in this video, it will be EC2. And I'll show you basically how you can use AWS CLI to run EC2 instance, terminate them, right? And what all thing you would actually need to basically create an EC2 instance using AWS CLI. All right, so let's get started. All right, so I mean, just think it from this perspective, when you actually launch an EC2 instance from console, what all stuff do you need? So we need key pair, right? We actually need a key pair and we, if we are launching it in a VPC, so we need VPCs, right? So VPC IDs and you need subnet. You have to decide on those stuff, right? Before. But since you are doing it from console, it, it's all UI based, but with AWS CLI, you actually need to have all the all that uh, information handy. So let me first see what all VPCs are available to me. So to do that, AWS EC2, I've shown you how you can run the command, right? And I have the auto completer uh, set up, so that can actually complete commands for me. So in order to see the VPCs, there's no list VPC command, there's actually a describe VPC command. Right. So describe and VPCs. So if I run this, you can see I get a JSON object, right? And it's it's pretty big. So I mean I can actually find the VPC which I want from this JSON object itself. So I'll be using uh, where is that? This is a hello VPC test VPC my VPC. So I'll be using my VPC, right? But you saw this is a little confusing. You can get confused with such a la large output. So in order to do that, AWS CLI actually gives you filtering options, right? So you can use filter or you can use query. So let's use query and see how we can filter that. So this is going to be a pretty big video, just, just a heads up, right? So I'll do the describe again, but this time I'll just query. And if you see the JSON object, top level thing is VPC, it's, it's basically a list, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to query VPCs, right? And I'll query the whole object. And now what I need is, uh, I need the name and the VPC ID. So for VPC ID, I need, where is it, VPC ID, right? And for name, I think there's no space required over there, right? For name, and you would see that name actually lies inside the tags uh, uh, section, right? So for that, let's do tags, and this will be the zeroth element dot, I think it's value. So I need the value, right? I just need the value. I don't need the key because key is the name and value is the name, actual name of the VPC, right? So that's all I need. Let's close this, close the quotation. And if we have not done anything wrong, let's see what we get. Yeah, cool. So this is what we wanted. So we need, so we have the VPC ID and VPC name. All right, and you see the null, this is because this is probably the default VPC, which is there in AWS. All right, so I'll be using this VPC, right? So now the next thing what I need is a key. So let's create a key. So again, to do that AWS EC2. So AWS EC2 is the API and then we pass the command, right? So to create a key would be create key pair. You can see I'm just tabbing it and it's creating and I'm doing this on the fly. So I am out to make mistakes, right? And the only option required to create a key is the key name, right? So key name, and let's say I name it my key, very creative, right? And if I enter, you can see I got a key back, right? So now what you can do is you can actually copy this much part and save it in a PEM file. And this is the key you would actually use to SSH into 
or logging into your machine right this is neat but uh, what if I can do this in like single command right so again using the query thing which we did earlier so let's see so first I'll just get rid of this key so AWS EC2 delete key should be there delete key pair yeah it's there and I think it will also take the key pair name and my key yeah. all right so let's delete it all right let me clear the screen and now again AWS EC2 create key pair key name my key and this time I'm going to query query what query so if you look at the JSON object I'm going to query this key material right so I'm going to query this and the next thing I want the output in so hyphen hyphen output I don't want the JSON output I want the text output right because what I'm going to do is I'm going to send that output to my key dot pen file so if I now cat my key dot pen file you can see we have the keys right so you just need to edit the permissions and you can use this key all right so now we are sorted so we have the key the next thing we need to create an instance is a security group all right so again AWS EC2 and if you do create security group you can see and what all options do you need with the security group I think is the name so if you just to double tap on tap you would see all the options populated and if I just go through so I would need a group name so I would say my SG right I think my SG is enough for that and I would need VPC ID so for VPC ID I'll just scroll up and grab this VPC ID All right, so after VPC ID, I think we need the description as well. So yes, that's also required. And I would just say my test SG, right? And let's hit enter. And you can see, so we have got the security group and this is the security group ID. Great, so I think now we have everything uh, to create or to run an EC2 instance. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to see if I have any instance running. So AWS EC2, again, there is no describe or there is no list instances. There's a describe instances, instances, right? So I'll just, because I'm doing this because, so you can see I have got, so there is one instance which is in stopped state, right? And probably, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So I did this because I wanted the AMI ID because I use the same AMI ID just to be sure that I don't run into any issues, right? So I'll use this AMI ID. All right, so let me clear the screen. Again, so to run any instance using AWS CLI, the command is AWS EC2. And then that is, I think, run. Run instances, right? And they, it requires a bunch of uh, options. So the first thing is, image ID for image ID I'll paste that and then if you want you can give the count as well if you want to run multiple instances so for the count I'll just give one for key name right 
So for key name, uh, we'll give the name of our key, which was where it is, my key, right? And then for security group IDs, again we'll get the security group ID of the security group which we created, which is this. Right, and then you actually need a subnet ID as well. So subnet ID. Uh, so I mean, you can get it if you do a describe on your VPCs. I already have it, so let me just grab it uh, where it is. not able to find this I actually put it somewhere let me just oh yeah finally got it yeah so this is the submit ID right and I think if we have done everything correct probably this is all we need so let's hit enter and see I mean if there will be any errors we'll get that if not you'll get this json object great so we so currently it's impending right so it will take some time uh, so if i clear the screen now and if i do aws ec2 describe instances so there will be and I think we missed one thing I didn't give the instance type and that is required so by default I think it took m1 small right that is that is straight so now what I can do is I mean since you can see this bunch of JSON object which is actually hard to parse what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter this so let me clear the screen and I'll do the described instances and hyphen I can filter and I'll do so filter works in CLI with uh, something called key pair based uh, thing right so it requires a name and well so for name name will be equal to instance type and values would be equal to M1, I think what was the type? Uh, M1 small, right? M1 dot small. M1 dot small. Right? See? So, alright, so now we got only the instance which was, which is of type M1 small, which we have just launched, right? Using my key, you can see, right? And yeah, so. But still, this is pretty much, I mean, too much of JSON object to basically take in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to query. I'm going to query reservations. And if you're wondering from where I'm getting this is, so if you look at the JSON object, it starts with the reservation, which is topmost. Right? And I think that's my daughter instances and I just need the instance ID suppose right so if we do that so you can see I got the instance ID and I can just double check this on my AWS console and I can see that this is the instance which we've just launched I'm not showing you on my console it doesn't make sense uh, you can do it but yeah that's that's the instance which we have just launched Great, so this is what we need to launch an instance now and in fact I also didn't know that, that if you don't provide the type it will launch M1 small so that's a learning for me as well that's great. Alright so since we are done with launching and describing and everything next thing what we are going to do is and, and before that so you can see a pattern here right so how you can actually use these commands in a shell script. 
probably running instance is not very helpful. Uh, I've never seen people run or launch instances using AWS CLI, but describe instance, I'm telling you, this is a very, very helpful uh, command. And you can actually, and, and especially with filters and queries, you can do a lot of stuff using describe instances with the instances which are already running, right? You can do a lot of automation. Cool, so yeah, and, and that's, completely dependent on your use case, what kind of use case you have, right? Nobody can teach you that, just, just to be sure. All right, so now since we have instance running, it's time to terminate instance. And again, to do that, AWS EC2. So you have two options with AWS CLI. First is stop instances. You can actually stop instance, or if you want to terminate instance. So terminate instances. And this would probably need instance ID. So you can actually terminate multiple instances or you can just give one instance ID. In this case, I'll just give this and hit enter. And if you've done everything correct, you can see it will return a JSON object and you can see it's shutting down. And I can double check this on my AWS console to be sure. And yes, the instance is actually going down. Cool. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all I had for this video. I hope you liked the video. In the next video, we'll be covering S3 service with AWS CLI. I hope you guys like that as too as well, right? Okay, so yeah, please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. And yeah, thank you for watching.